What's up YouTube, Edgar Kai here bringing you an action figure custom tutorial today. We're looking at the McFarlane 7 inch Batman figure from the animated series. And one thing that I covered in a previous review that a few people have wanted a more in-depth look at is how I modded the eyes on my Batman. And the one that I'm holding in the foreground here, you can see the eyes are much wider and it really fills it in and makes it look bigger and just makes the figure look much cooler. But you can see the figure on the left here, the eyes are very, very sunken in and back and you really can't see the white of his eyes once this focuses here. And you can see right in there, they look super far back. So today we're gonna do a pretty easy tutorial of how to fill those eyes in. So we're gonna use Play-Doh, which is super cheap and easy to find. And we have our just regular super glue here, crazy glue, gorilla glue, whatever works. So, and we have our little scalpel here. You can use pretty much anything, but it's so thin and fine that it just makes this process a little easier. So what we're gonna do is take a tiny bit of that Play-Doh, put it on the tip here, and we're just going to put a little dab of crazy glue on that, just a tiny little bit, just so it stays in there, right? And we're gonna take this little bit of Play-Doh and we're gonna place it in the eye there and just fill it. We're gonna fill it in. Trying to be as neat as possible. And we're just gonna press it down and really compress it. And obviously the more Play-Doh we put to fill in that space, the more full the eye is going to look. This was a figure that I really enjoyed messing around with. I think it's really good for the price point for $19.99. McFarlane definitely took artistic liberty in the design of the figure because it's not incredibly accurate, but I think it's, it's really a lot of fun, especially for its articulation. So here we are, we're, gonna, we're going to take more of this Play-Doh here and we're gonna stuff the eye even more. So we're gonna do another layer. And we don't need to add glue to this layer because when we layer the Play-Doh on top of the other layer that's already in the eye, it's going to bond together, especially if we're really pushing it in and compressing it. So when it dries, it's going to basically be one piece inside of his eye and it's going to be just as hard as the plastic that came out of the factory that's on the rest of his head. So that's why it's a plus to use Play-Doh because one, it's very cheap, it's going to self-harden and it's not going to really go anywhere. It's not going to fall out of his eye because we glued it and it's just going to look really good and cool. Now we're going to really clean up those edges and make it nice and sharp. And that's why using the X-Acto blade or the X-Acto knife scalpel um, really helps because you get to cut it and you don't have to put that much pressure and it really just makes it a little more clean and less messy with jagged edges. And there it is. That's one eye that's in there. And the cool thing about Play-Doh is that that glue is under there and like in a day, this is going to be a hard Play-Doh. It's going to dry nice and hard and strong. So now we're going to do the other eye. And let's try to put a lot in this first go, right? We're going to do a little bit of that crazy glue again. And let's see if we can do it in one shot instead of layering it. So let's press that in there. You can, you can already see that this is a, a big bunch here. We're going to press that in, kind of fill it, see if we can skip a step in making this work for us. Now we're going to take that big glop and we're going to use the blade again very gently to cut it off. And we're going to compress it just like we did before. So either method works. You can build it up slowly with multiple layers or you could just put a big glop of it in and, you know, take out and subtract the edges of the glop here and just to avoid being redundant we did the same thing we did to the first eye and Batman already looks I think a lot better but we can still take it to another level. 
But now we're going to customize his mouth and make it a little more show accurate. These are the paints I like to use because they're very cheap. They're acrylic paints and they flow very easily and I really like the feel of them. They're probably about $2 a bottle and they're very easy to replace and buy new things. We also have a very thin brush here, so this is a little more advanced part of this tutorial here. But what we're going to do is just make his mouth a little wider and we're going to add the cheek creases to him, right? So we're going to take a little bit of this black here and we are very, very gently and steadily going to inch our way across the ridge of his mouth. And we're going to make it just a little wider. So we're going to make the contour of the mouth a little wider, and then we're going to actually make the length of his mouth wider. As you can see, we're really dragging it out slowly, carefully. And the good thing about acrylic is that, let's say if you mess up, you can easily wash it off and try it all over again. So here we go, we're doing the, the creases of the mouth, making him a little more grimace looking. And you can see the difference there. He's just looking a little more mean, right? So we're going to clean this part off. We're going to take a little bit of this burnt umber. And just a little bit, we're going to do the brown creases of his mouth here. And if it's something that you don't want to freehand straight up, you can take a pencil and just lightly put it in just to see if your lines are looking good. And then you can go over that pencil with the brush. So luckily on um, my first try my creases look uh, look like they're in the right place which is good. And now just for good measure I'm going to go over the white play-doh with white acrylic paint as well. Just to make it a little more poppy because the play-doh has a little bit of a translucent quality to it. So this isn't completely necessary but you can see that the white paint does pop it out just a tad bit more and we're just going to be very careful here and fill that in nice and sharp and here it is both eyes are done the mouth is done it's a pretty quick custom um, it's not necessary to do the mouth so if you're feeling a, a little weary about painting the thin lines of the mouth you don't have to do it but I believe in you get a nice thin brush those acrylic paints the Americanas I will put them in the link below of the supplies that I'm using and for instance, with the same exact supplies, here is another Batman that I did for Mc, from McFarlane. Just tweaked the head a bit, added a five o'clock shadow, changed the shape of the eyes, added the crease in the mouth. And that was just another cool, quick custom that can take these figures to another customized level. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video tutorial. Um, I really enjoy these figures and I think after tweaking them, they get even cooler. So until next time, you guys take care, I'll see you later, and Batman out.